Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can finally see RTX 30 series cards, VRAM temperatures in a Linux-based operating system. In this video, we're gonna talk about MMPOS. So rumor is, according to the change log in MMPOS, if you're not familiar with MMPOS, it's another Linux-based mining operating system similar to HiveOS. I've never personally used it, but I, I guess I will be in this video. So you can see on March 1st, they have their change log for their operating system here. And it says that it introduced long-awaited NVIDIA sensor reading, which I think is going to be VRAM temperature readings for the NVIDIA cards, which has only been something you can do on Windows to date. It just hasn't been Linux driver support for it. So I'm going to get this installed. I went ahead and download the latest image. Just like HiveOS, you can flash it using Etcher. So I have it selected here. I have a SSD. I'm going to flash it on. So I'm going to go ahead and get that flashed. And then once it's done, I'll boot it up and we'll start checking this out. So the flash is done and I'm over on the MMPOS website on the dashboard right now to make the configuration file to put onto that newly flashed drive. So I'm going to go over to get MMPOS to the auto configuration. I'll just give this rig a name 3090. I'll leave everything else at default and I'll generate that. And so I've downloaded that auto configuration file. And what I wanna do is throw that on the root of the D drive, which is my MMPOS drive. So there it is. I think that's all I gotta do. Let me go ahead and restart this computer and we'll take a look. 3090 is up in mining, but I did run into a snag along the way. I just wanna walk you through what happened in case you run into the same snag if you're setting this up. So. Even though I had the configuration file set right and I have this hardwired into Ethernet, this would not automatically register to MMPOS. And so what I had to do is go look at their FAQ. I'll walk you through it right now. So I found this. What should I do when the rig boots for the first time? And what helped me out is this answer here is if you're not on the same subnet type, which I'm almost positive I am, to essentially follow these instructions to manually register the rig. And I even tried this twice to make sure I didn't miss anything, but both times I had to go here and manually register the rig. But good news is once I did that, it showed up right on my dashboard here as a rig and I could start mining with it. So I've set it all up because we're really just here to look at those VRAM temperatures. So let's go take a peek. So if you scroll down here, you can see the memory temperatures are reporting at 94 degrees Celsius, which I have tested this on windows as well and that is incredibly accurate to what i was getting in the windows reporting so i think this is the real deal i think we finally have linux based vram temperatures for nvidia which is really really exciting i'll walk you through just a couple quick things if you want to stay tuned for the rest of this video on how to get mmpos set up if you want to try this on your own so there's three things you got to do first you got to put a wallet in uh, which you can see my wallet address right there Second, you got to add a pool, pretty straightforward. I have Ethermine selected here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is do a miner profile, which is similar to like a flight sheet over in HiveOS. So you're just going to enter the coin you're going to mine, the miner you want to use, and the pool you want to mine to. And once you do all that, you're going to go back to your rig, it's so 3090. You're going to click on that. And you come up to this icon here, and you're going to switch the mining profile over to that new one you created. And once you do that, it's going to download the miner and start mining. The other thing I'll walk you through, if you're still staying tuned here, is the overclocks, because where to find everything was a little confusing for me. So when you go down to the rig here, that's a 3090, on the side here, you're gonna have these, this tab, and this is gonna be the overclocks. You gotta enable it, and then you can set your lock core clock and your memory clock, which I have set to 1100 and 2400 for this card. The next thing you gotta do is enable fan control, which is in an even different spot. So you gotta come over to these, this green one here, and go to default active config, and here you have to toggle on fan management and then set if you want temperature base or fixed fan speed. For this video, I just did 100% fan speed as a fixed fan speed. And you got to update that and save that. And then you finally have everything all set and you're ready to mine. So just in case you want to try this, all those different kind of places to look for everything. But once you get it settled in, it makes sense and it's able to start mining. So again, just checking in, looking like we're hitting 92 degrees on the memory. The fans I have at a hundred percent and the GPU itself is sitting at a nice cool 51 degrees Celsius. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. You're probably thinking the same thing I'm thinking, which is when might this come to other Linux based mining operating systems? 
such as HiveOS. I think it's probably just a matter of time. Looks like the MMPOS team was the first ones to get this enabled. I'm not sure how they did it because for a long time I heard it just wasn't possible because of NVIDIA not releasing something. But if you guys have any ideas, let me know down in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link's down in the description. I think they also do referral links, so I'll leave one down in the description. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Links for all that are also down in the description. And as always, guys, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you in the next video.